Why Dennis Quaid continually provides the correct content for the inappropriate films Reagan, the new biopic about his favorite president, is anchored by Dennis Quaid in the same way that a mob witness tossed into the Gowanus Canal is anchored by concrete boots. Quaid's work is reduced to a set of mannerisms by the tropes of biopic acting, such as the vocal mimicry, strange prosthetics, and CGI de-aging. He works so hard that all that is visible is his labor, giving off an unsure appearance throughout. The movie that Quaid stars in, although being his passion endeavor, doesn't help him. The framing device of the majority of its information can be used to summarize it, a young, up-and-coming government official in modern-day Russia sneaks out to see a retired KGB agent performed, with John Voight's moose and squirrel accent. For what reason is he present? To study the past, especially that of Ronald Reagan, the man who seemingly won the Cold War almost entirely on his own and about whom our antiquated spies are fixated. What happens next could be compared to a Joker-narrated Batman biopic. Payoffs and setups seem to happen at random. Tensive strings are released every three to five minutes by a score composed solely of stakes goosing stings. The cut-up method gives the film a sense of organization despite its excessive time jumping.